let's look at the muscles first before we get to the joint. The rotator cuff muscles, the best way to remember is by using the acronym SITS. S-I-T-S. -S. So the first S is actually your supraspinatus, in the supraspinatus fossa. You can see how it's attached right over here at the upper edge of the humerus near the greater tubercle. So this muscle is responsible for initiating of initiation of abduction. It will cause the initial degree, a uh, few degrees, about 10 to 15 degrees of abduction. Then deltoid will take over and will take it all the way up till 90. Below that, in the infraspinatus, fossa is your infraspinatus. And here you can see it's attached right below, right adjacent. This is involved in a bit of adduction as well as the external rotation. You can see, if you can imagine the muscle pulling on the humerus, it's going to basically rotate it externally outside. The same goes with the teres minor right below. And remember, it's sometimes hard to differentiate between the two, but the infraspinatus is much bigger than the teres minor. So these two will do the external rotation as well as the minor adduction.